So, this is how you set up the magic painting for Mary Poppins. Firstly, insert the flowers into the vase, pulling on the stem so the stem reaches the bottom of the painting frame. Next, you pull the flap down, and then to engage the lock, pulling the flowers up, holding the flap down and your magic painting is set. So these will be the two vases that you will be using in the show, uh, one at a time during the scenes. Firstly, you will be using the vase that is solid and complete. Uh, the other vase is a breakaway vase, which, as you can see, breaks away and uh, conforms back together via magnets. So for the setup for the magic table, you want to make sure that your battery is charged and in, which will be connected to a relay here, which you want the switch to be on, which goes to the remote control itself, which has the up position for when it's going to be going up, and the reset position. For the reset position, they want to pull it down, you will hear this noise which will show that the table is engaged to do the magic trick itself, which is falling. And then the up will magically bring the table up. For the beginning of this illusion, one of the kids will remove the checkerboard, exposing a hole in the table, which Mary will place her bag Additionally, has a hole to fit the size. Now, for that to look as if something is coming out of nothing, we have mirrored glass here, and the background pattern here will be continued on the side walls. The items coming through the table are coming from the back, being fed by a technician and the back looks like so. As the technician pulls, pushes it through, Mary grabs and pulls out an item. This is the plan for Mary's magic bag trick. For this, it sits in its envelope and it breaks down pretty flat. There's a bit of Velcro and springs in it. Now putting it into the envelope, you want to make sure that all of the foliage is near the top so that Mary can easily grab it in one go into the slot area. This is the lampshade she pulls out from the uh, nursery trick. This one is pretty simple. There is a turning mechanism on the top for the shade and at the bottom there is a release and a velcro piece to keep it flat. As you go through the hole you want to keep the shade pretty tight and for the base she can pull it out and twist it. So this is Mary's self-icing cake. For this you have a top unfrosted cake and your topper. As the topper goes on, there is a strong magnet into it that Mary pulls and the cake is frosted. After, she pulls the cherry on top from her apron and places it. Now for this shot, you don't want your Mary to expose the unfrosted cake to it, so as she pulls it off, she should either pull it behind her or place it onto the deck. So these are the two bags that Mary will be handling. Uh, this first bag is the initial bag she will be using. It is enclosed. The secondary bag is for the magic tricks, which has the hole in it. It's a little bit larger, but all in all, it looks pretty the same. So this is how you set the magic coat hanger bag trick. First, you need to remove the top, then turning it to the left, loosening it up, and slowly putting it in on itself. Once you get to about this height, you turn it to the right and lock it into position. So once you have your pull down, 
you're gonna put the top on and you're gonna turn the leg because the bottom of the bag is open and you want it to span the bag itself and not fall out. Uh, you're gonna put the top against this outer edge here, making sure it's pretty tight against it. And you're good to go. So this is the pulling it out of her bag trick. So you first want to set it up straight, kick out the leg that was folded over, keeps it from showing from the bottom. And as she is coming and pulling this out, she wants to rotate it, loosening it up, making sure not to go too overboard. As she slowly gets to the topmost spot for her, she's going to then rotate it to the right to lock it into place, pull it out of the bag, and you're good to go.